Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can measure the usage of a particular Fiori app. Because this will happen after like three months, six months, when you have uh, uh, commissioned all the Fiori app and you want to see which ones are really used. And mostly 90, 85 to 90 percent of the people uh, will not use some of those Fiori apps. Okay, so don't be alarmed. It happens, you know. So what happens is here is the T program that you are going to use IWFND and uh, slash R underscore meeting underscore view, metering underscore view, and we execute. And here you can see from the base of the usage, you can find out. So suppose I want to see what is the, how much it's being used in the last six, this last one month, okay? So six four to this, I want to see what's the usage. And here, based on the users also, you can find who is really using the Fiori apps and who is not. So here you see most of the apps are being used are uh, related with workflows. You can see this is the tech services, okay? And here you can see what are they using for, okay? And the person who is using the usage, you can see how much time he took, okay? I think this is probably, I don't know, it's in probably milliseconds or something, okay? But this is very useful. You can see the usage, you can see from where he logged in, all these things, the timestamp, okay? Very, very important, okay? And uh, the users, and then what he's re really trying to do. Um, this is the OData service and all those things, which buttons they're clicking, everything you can see, okay? And what type of, you know, uh, the the type of probably browser they're using, okay? Or probably you can see all these things which might be essential. Now, here, if we scroll down, there's some other stuffs that they are using also. So if you see this is the supplier, uh, there's another Fiori apps they are using, they are taking and all those things. How many, the users is the same. Let's see, if you want to click on it, you can put a filter, okay? And let's see whether there is multiple users for it, okay? So if there is this another user who is using it, let's see. So you can see the trend of what they are using and what, what is the usage. So it's very, very important, like lots of times, as I said, it, you might see things that, you know, and you might be able to see why they are using it and what's this. So this person is using it in a different way. These are the different uh, external IDs they are using. So here you can see they are using for leave requests, they're using for timesheet, they're using related with SD and all those things and uh, the number of times. So all these things are very important and you can see the timestamp and let me see, yeah, here you can see the timestamp when he used the duration of how many times he used it and all those things. So this is very, very important. So here it gives you the rough check, which are the ones that you, so you might say, as I said, 85 to 90% of the stuff that you probably did it without doing all the steps we he told will never be used, but provided if you use all our steps, like step one, find determination of how many P, how, what are the different transaction codes you people uses, and then deploy the things, probably you will get a hit of like 60% or 70% of these Fiori apps are being used. So 30% may not be used, but if you're not doing it, it would be the other way now. 90% will not be used and 10% will, will be used. So this is something that you will see that alarm, and based on this, you know, you can see a lot of details like what what they're really clicking and all those things we saw on that previous thing where they were showing, they were clicking on the show logs and all those things. So you can find, oh, what's the usage? So probably you can also make these users as, their, as the prime ambassador of using Fiori apps and help the other users. Lots of times when IT people talks to the business, they might not be listening because they might be saying, oh, you never empathize our position. You don't put ourselves, uh, you put yourself into our position. So you will not understand because IT people are always technical. They might be knowing. So if you, if you get this guy, like student 056 and tell 
the other candidates that, hey, use this Fiori app and I use, there's more credibility to that. So it helps you and you can find who are the people who are using and who are the people who are not using. And based on that, you can say why you're not using it. And then they say, oh, I don't like it. It's uh, I need training or something. So in that way, it can help you. OK, so this this is the this is the report that you are going to use always. OK, you can run it by users. You can run it based on the dates, which are very important. OK, and uh, if I go back, is there any other things? Probably. Let's see. I'll just do a search. And if there is any other report we have for this, so you have other aggregate collected meter reading into aggregation disabled meeting. So you are, you have other other information. So let's see, registration of technical service displaying metering data. That's what we did. Uh, create scheduled jobs to run this metering report. So you can schedule the job using these programs. Okay, and so let's see metering data into aggregate report. What it does. So basically, it probably aggregates the data into a metering report. Okay, so let's go and see whether they did something. So it's displaying, displaying. So this is another report probably, I don't know whether you can, probably I don't have even, no, I have the authorization. So this is, so meter aggregation, this is the report. So if you see, generally this is a table. Okay, so if I, if I just copy this and I go to uh, if I go to oops I'm running out of session I go to SE16 slash n SE16 and I enter this okay this is it's not in the dictionary it says so probably not this let me see I did aggregation. Probably I don't have the authorization to check this. So there is nothing these things. So let's see. Star. And we put AGR. Let's try to find something. Yeah, so you see this meter data service aggregated user information and probably this is another table that that you are getting all this information from. So that's another table that you can use, but at, at least we know, but I think this report is good enough. The report that we have said this is too much superfluous, but I think this is the report that you will be using and uh, so this is the one metering view you should and you can also schedule it uh, manually or using that job that we have. So that was everything on how you can view the usage. It's up to you. You want to do it monthly, six months and all those things. Again, if you don't follow the steps that we have mentioned, first, second, third, <coughs> you might see 90% being not used. And um, if you follow that, then you can see only probably 20, 10, 10 to 20 or 30 percent not being used. Okay. But at least you tried. You didn't waste time. You didn't add performance issues. Like as we see, saw in the previous videos that it takes a lot of time to load the uh, Fiori web page if you have a lot of Fiori apps. So that's one of the things. That's why you don't want to install all the Fiori apps and SAP has 3,000 of it. You want to stick in between like 30. 30 below 30 is fine okay um not hundreds you'll be you'll be scrambling okay so that's it this covers everything on the uh, usage and uh, fiori metering view